Hi there and welcome back. Happy New Year to you. We are at my favorite Goodwill. Look at all the bins. They were actively restocking. I saw some books here. Jenny's always looking for books. And then look at this. <laughs> this title is wrong. I have never seen a Berenstain Bear story that you can read in five minutes. I remember when I was teaching and I used to start to read a book before we were waiting to go to recess or lunch or something. And those stories are deceptively long. So I kind of got a little chuckle when I saw the five minute stories for the Berenstain Bears. This was a really pretty planter. The look of it kind of gave off mid-century modern vibes to it, but it didn't have a maker's mark on it. It was awfully big and heavy. So I did leave that for somebody else, but continue to look in the bins to see if there was any hidden treasures. I have pulled out many, many wonderful things out of these bins. Not so much that uh, tambourine. It was missing the centerpiece. Let's move on to the shelves. As you can tell, they have rearranged. And I think all of the Goodwills in our area have rearranged. And some of you might be thinking, why are you talking on and on about this? Because they've been in, like color coded for years and years. And now they're changing it. And change is sometimes hard, but it is actually a little bit more fun because you don't know what you're going to expect to see on the shelves. I was looking to see if they had any mid-century modern glasses. I didn't see anything over there. And now I'm showing you this side. Didn't really see anything. I thought this was an interesting piece. I thought it was a napkin holder. It was marked on the bottom. It looked like it was pressed pottery where you make the, the design and then put the pieces together. Not really a hand-thrown piece. Interesting, but I left that as well. There is a Ray Dunn creamer. I do see that pour. Someone made these. That one was a little crooked. Uh, I have looked up that pour creamer in the past and I didn't see anything too crazy enough to buy it. There was a lot of kitchen utensils. I was looking through them to see if there were any Bakelite handled items or any wooden colored handled utensils. I remember at an in-person auction, I picked up a whole bunch of, I think they were red, red wooden handled utensils and I sold them as a lot and they sold them, they sold pretty well as a lot. So I know that people like the vintage uh, handled or wooden handled utensils for their kitchen or for display. So that's what I was looking for there. And then seeing if anything interesting was in the candle section, any glassy babies hiding in there or fire and light. Didn't see any that day. <laughs> One day I can add to my glassy baby collection. Let's see what this is. This is English Village. Nice little set. I like the color. It's pretty. That blue. What is this here? Is this inside here? Pop and Burns. Four ninety nine. He have a fork and a spoon. Hmm. Right. This is the dish where I had when I was first married. It's false craft, blue and green. These are plastic. Lobster. $2.99. Some of these for sale. I decided to look at this latch hook kit box uh, because of the design on it. That uh, granny cottage core look is kind of in with some people, and I thought the cabbage roses scream the late 80s early 90s to me and I thought someone might enjoy doing this and the next thing I found in the toy section was this American Girl Cafe and it all I get really close sorry <laughs> get a little close and personal here a couple times what it is is it, it had a lot of papers and paper menu and paper plates and you could have a little cafe 
And these blue things, I wasn't quite sure what they were until I got them home. They're chairs for your dolls. But what I liked about buying this is the price was right, but it also had all the little extras that you might be missing or the hot chocolate, the cupcake, the sweet rolls, all the little things that you wish that you could replace, I now have for you. So I'm not going to sell the big pink display thing or the drawers, but everything that comes in the drawers. And I would encourage you to always look for American Girl doll things, especially foods and all the little accessories, because I think those are the first things that get lost. Another time I remember I picked up a little basket and inside the basket were all little doodads and American Girl doll things. And American Girl doll stuff for me sells really well. So I would encourage you to keep an eye out for American Girl doll things. This had a bag of vintage refrigerator magnets and they were, there were some Care Bears in there, but there weren't enough like high quality to think, make me think like this is a whole collection of Care Bears. It just seemed like they were older magnets. And I know that some magnets can sell very well, but once I looked over it, I just didn't really think there was a, enough in the bag for me. So that stayed on the shelf. And then the style of this mug is what grabbed my attention. I was seeing who made it. And also because it was over in the toy section, I put it over in the black and silver section because I didn't want it to get accidentally broken. Looking again through the uh, toys to see if there's anything interesting going on here. There was this domino set. It was a domino zoo that would be good for preschool or kindergarten. And seeing if there was any other American Girl doll things. There were some Shopkins, but that was just the display. There weren't any Shopkins inside it. Giving you a look at the toys as well. They had a whole basket of Build-A-Bear outfits. I had to think what they were called. <laughs> All of these outfits still on the hanger. And I'm sure that some there could be some money there. There's always money in something. But I decided not to really deal with those and leave that. And then this was, um, obviously, you can see Mickey Mouse ears, Minnie Mouse ears from the Disneyland park. So I did take the time to look those up to see if they were any high money thing. And then look at this. Isn't this weird? A praying mantis plush. I found that. I've never seen a praying mantis plush. And then these two lanterns were hanging in the curtains and blankets area and I thought they were really pretty and with spring coming and summer coming a themed party I think those would look really pretty I remember Jenny's first birthday I had woodland creatures was the theme so we had ladybugs and owls and mushrooms and that kind of reminded me of that party that I thought they would look really pretty on display and they are still new in the package so I decided to take a chance on those Whenever I see a large duck figurine, I think it's a DCUK duck figurine, but I have to remind myself that those are usually not painted with clothes. Here, I'm going to show you an example of what those look like, but I always think, oh, is this a DCUK duck? And it never is. <laughs> I thought this little countdown snowman was cute, testing it out to see if it worked. And then down here, there were some animal figurine. I think napkin rings possibly or maybe toys for babies I'm not sure this was a cute little narwhal a contemporary hobbyist piece and then in these little this little bag were two sets of salt and pepper shakers and they're cast metal which I thought was pretty neat and I think showed their age one set is cable cars and one set is uh, windmills so I decided to get those just because the price was right and they had some age to them the paint was still in great shape. I wanted to know, how well do you know America? And these questions were hard. <laughs> you can pause the video to read them, but I was like, um, no, don't know America that well. <laughs> I'm going to put this, put this back and not bring it home and torture my family with making them play the game. They did had a, they did had, they did have a bag of old made cards and vintage old made cards do sell well. So don't skip by the ones they're usually made in the fifties. And this Wallace's Royal chronological tables of English history 
<laughs> that looks like a lot of fun too. So I wanted to know what it looked like and that puzzle didn't look very exciting to me. <laughs> it didn't, it looked not like a fun time. So I decided, <laughs> I decided to put that back as well on the shelf. And then in the wooden section, I found this. I thought this was interesting, an etc. pin cushion. It's a mold or, you know, you could they had the foam piece. So you had a, not like it was a mold, but you know what I mean. You can make your own pin cushion. I had never seen that before. And I thought this little handmade pine cone tree was cute. And went back to the bins to see what they were restocking. This was a pretty pottery piece. It was not signed on the bottom. So I left that and decided to nose around in the other bins before ending my trip to this Goodwill. Three days later. Jenny and I are at the big Goodwill out on Route 30. They had these on an end cap. They were 99 cents a piece. And then look, Gina and Roger and Yvonne and Brian and Carrie and Todd can have a party all together. There's all <laughs> your shot glasses. I was seeing if there was anything on the end caps that I needed. And then I saw this broken bag. Oh, isn't that sad? It got smashed around. I was surprised it was still on the shelf. And then I thought these were wall hanging things, but they were ornaments. And then over in the Halloween section, they had these keychains. Now, if you ever come to Lancaster County and you go to an Amish uh, run store or, you know, a touristy store, they usually have these hanging up for sale and their names and we actually have Jenny's name on one of our key rings and I thought well th this is really interesting and there was a good price because a bag was only $4.99 and if you sold at a flea market or had a antique booth this would be a good seller now these also said Lancaster County on them and then look they had the Pennsylvania plates so then I was talking to Jenny I was saying I wonder if a store closed down and they donated all the items because these were very touristy, very geared towards, you know, Lancaster County tourist souvenirs. I thought that was interesting. It'll be interesting to see if they're still there the next time I go to the Big Goodwill. The keychains I thought were the best deal. Hoping to find a sloth floating no. on a unicorn pool floaty. Here it is. I found it for you. No? Hmm. You weren't looking for that? <laughs> Oh, it's plastic. I thought it was um, porcelain. It is not. That's sweet. That'd be sweet with more. Oh, she used to be an angel. She's a fallen angel. Well, that's neat as a moon. Moon and stars. It's $4.99. But they're pretty. Little mama and a baby. Mother. It's like a gingerbread. Uh, it looks like a gingerbread mold. I think it's modern now. I think it's newer. Korea. Dogs. Oh, no, they're Japan. Yeah. I, know. I thought they were Korean. Mm -hmm. Nishi doll. It's like they, they never got out of the um, container there. Her arm, is, her arm is backwards here. It's like she's very flexible. Her head's, no, her head's not backwards. I don't know. Something's going on with her. Those are pretty, though. That is, oh, here's a. There you go. Dollar ninety-nine. That's pretty. Pistachio. It's pistachio ice cream. No one likes pistachio. Well, it's a trinket dish. Whenever they're icy wall hanging items, I do like to look at them. Like to find the age on them. And if they're kind of quirky and kitschy, I do pick those up from time to time. But those baskets, I did leave that, um, those. And then I was looking to see what it said. This little dish was dedicated from 2001. I really came close to buying this. And I even had, I think 
Jenny's going to hold the camera or I do it one handed. I might do it one handed. Yes. And that's, you see the camera jump a little bit because it was missing the hinges. And if it had the hinges, I definitely would have picked it up. This might be a souvenir piece from South America. It looks like to me, but it, it didn't have, uh, you know, the name of the country it's from, but because the hinges were missing, I did leave it, which was a shame because I really like the style of the box. There was just one of those mugs. And this, I believe, is that Holly China. I believe. I would think that would be that would be my, my money. I would, I'd bet that on it. It was the Holly China. And then that was stuck. So I pulled her out so people could see her. And then this was a piece of redware. I was pretty excited about it. But the signature on the back just had that, that little right there. I think it said SW. I did Google lens it, but I couldn't find the maker. Here is everything else that I picked up on these recent trips to the Goodwill. Thank you so much for your support of my channel. And thank you so much for the recent support of Jenny's channel. She just got a little bump in her subscribers, which has lit the creative juices under her. <laughs> she has just recently dropped a video today as well. And we hope you enjoy that one. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're having a great day. And I'll see ya.